Hello everyone, Slime Trading here. Today is uh, Monday, April 8th. I'll be going over my recap for today. Today I made two trades uh, with, with a total of $114 profit. The first trade I did was CVM. So what I saw here was uh, it gapped up, it had a weak open, uh, fell all the way back down to 8.30s or so, uh, popped back up. And then it was forming this uh, bear flag. So I was watching this move here um, for this break. I went ahead and start short here. And then when I saw this level hold, I kind of reevaluated it and I saw the next trigger point people would probably take was this uh, 292 break here of the inverted cup and handle. Um, so there was an the opportunity to react there, but I, I didn't locate um, enough shares to add. Uh, so I went ahead and covered, covered uh, at this 281 mark, um, and then I covered some more here, and then when I saw it uh, had had a big order at 575, and then that was the next level to crack there. So I went ahead and re-added my shares back. Um, and then covered again here, and then I kind of, I stopped out when it broke. Uh, I was expecting uh, 75, 75 to hold, um, so it would test this seventy five here, and then I would expect it to go down towards uh, green to red here. But it 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 end up finding support here, and then picking back up, and then it kind of has a little uh, push back towards six. So that was a hundred and six dollar winner. Um, so that was the first trade. Uh, my second trade was Z Y N E. So Z Y N E, I saw it popping up um, up here. So it had a week open, uh, and then it popped back up, and then I was short buys here since it had a, a couple of green days. I was waiting for the first red day. Um, so the first trigger I saw was this uh, 920 area. So when it started doing this uh, cup and handle here, inverted cup and handle, I went ahead and started short there at 2920. I went ahead and cover uh, right here. I was also expecting um, a move back down to VWAP or this uh, area of support. Um, so when it went ahead and retest the 920s, and then this day kind of held. I went ahead and stopped the rest out there for a total profit of uh, $40. Um, and then and then I end up taking another small trade here in the afternoon. Um, so what I saw was this, uh, this other level here. Um, so this trend line it was breaking down. So I went ahead and started short there. Um, but then it, it, it didn't have the move that I wanted. So I just stopped out. Um, since last week, I kind of learned to not stay into these trade. And if there's an opportunity, if uh, you know one minute, two minute, it didn't really uh, go the way you want, uh, I would rather stop out and take, take it flat or a small loss than to hold into this choppiness. And I end up uh, uh, being being a bad trade afterwards. So uh, I'm taking my learnings from uh, last week to take take the small losses and and to walk away on a green day. So after I took this trade, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna walk away. I don't want to touch this. Um, and then I just walked away from my screen and I kept the day green. Um, uh, the last week. I had a few days where I was up green the first uh, one or two hours in the morning and then I give it back in the afternoon. So that's one thing I'm going to try to keep uh, keep going uh, unless I see really a uh, high quality A plus setup. Um, so that's the end of my recap. Um, I'd like to thank uh, everyone for uh, watching and subscribing. Um, so if you haven't done so, uh, it would be really supportive. Um, to keep uh, creating these videos. So as always, thanks for watching.
Um, so goodbye.